Kiri here from Health Initiatives. Welcome to this episode of Hey Look What I Got. I found Malabar spinach. This is a truly farmer's market find. You wouldn't see this in any grocers anywhere. Maybe very occasionally, rarely in the Indian or Asian grocers. I haven't seen one so far. Um, or if a friend or uh, uh, someone you knew grew it in their garden, that's how you would get it. Or you should grow one yourself. These are very native to southern India. And here in the US, you will find it uh, mostly in the summer season. And in India, it's, uh, it's, it's a perennial. It grows around the year, year and here it's more like an annual. This is an amazing vegetable to eat. So yummy so delicious and this is not related to our uh, regular spinach that you and i know at all this is uh, more related to purslane this the leaves are kind of succulent and uh, if you cook them it'll tend to become a little slimy like how um okra does or aloe has that thing so um these tender leaves are not all that succulent. Sorry, the tender leaves won't become slimy. And uh, the hardier ones, the mature leaves do tend to become slimy if you cooked. And there are many things you can make out of them. They can even be eaten raw. And uh, this one I have here today, the, this is... Uh, this needs to be trellised and uh, this is a green uh, Malabar spinach. You even have a red one, purple one, where, where the stems are red. And uh, when I was growing up in India, this was, uh, uh, this was there in my backyard. And I remember as a little girl, I would um, injure my gums while brushing and my mother would say, go and uh, eat a couple of these leaves. These are very, very healing and they are delicious. And uh, come closer. I want to show you something. See, it's a huge advantage when you know your farmer. I know her. She's a nice friend of mine. And when you know your farmer, they'll tell you some very important things that can help you in making decisions. Some leaves here were eaten by bugs. You see these tiny holes here? But it's only one or two of these like this that were eaten. And I know that they don't spray. This... Um, Farmer is a good friend of mine and she shares details like this if you become friends with them. I know that they don't spray um, any chemicals even though they are not certified organic. So I, I was more than happy to just buy this from her and it's so fresh. The, the stem and the leaves both are edible and like I was saying they can just be chopped and uh, uh, thrown on a salad they don't even need cooking and uh, if you want to cook something out of this I will have some ideas posted on the blog head over to uh, healthinitiatives.me that is health slash initiate sorry health hyphen initiatives dot me and uh, I urge you to go out and buy these vegetables. These are yummy, delicious, and uh, uh, they are the farmer's market finds. And uh, it's up to people like you and me to keep this diversity going. Um, if we don't buy, they won't grow. It's as simple as that. And uh, it's inconvenient sometimes. You see these long vines? My husband was getting annoyed. Oh, they are so inconvenient. Please don't say that. <laughs> Please don't find uh, uh, find them inconvenient or anything. That's just not the way to look at it. They are just yummy vegetables. So what if they hang around a little bit? You, you just carry a bag and stuff them in and bring. That's it. 
so these are uh, some thoughts about malabar spinach um, this is more related to purslane they are not at all related to our regular spinach so i really hope you keep an eye out for them and buy them the next time you see and until then remember one thing we all can cook and we can all cook well with just a little practice stay well